Hello, everyone. So if you have a heart, which that's all of us out there, then you've got to listen to what we have to say today. I'm Lisa, and this is Dr. Ryan. Welcome to our money training, where we teach you how our amazing products can help benefit your health span. Right? Yeah, you bet. And so today we have our beloved Super Reds. So we're going to talk all about our Super Reds. We're going to go into detail about the, or I'm going to have Ryan especially go into detail about the ingredients, why he chose what to put in it, the benefits, who it's for, which I kind of already said, everybody that has a heart. But yeah, so how shall we begin? Um, Super Reds is such an amazing heart healthy uh, supplement. And it has many ingredients in there, super high in antioxidants, high in polyphenols, um, ingredients that you don't see in every product, ingredients that you, what's wrong? Ingredients that you can't easily source from your local grocery store. And, and that's the goal. The goal is not to really put ingredients in here that we can go easily get like strawberries and blueberries and stuff that we all love to eat every day. It's stuff that we, that have such um, a healthy benefit that we really can't source very easily, right? Correct. Um, so let's start off by, maybe let's start off by reading a little blur from this study that I was taking and then you can elaborate into that. Okay. Okay. Surprise. All right. So uh, the, I took this from the study I was just reading. The concept of antioxidants as a therapeutic intervention to prevent coronary artery, artery disease arose from the oxidized low density lipoprotein theory of arterial, arterial sclerosis. Once it was recognized that antioxidants could prevent free radical species from oxidizing lipoproteins, investigators began to explore the relationship between antioxidants and arteriosclerotic cardiovascular disease in large population-based studies. Many of these studies demonstrated an inverse relationship between antioxidant levels and adverse cardiac events. Okay. So that says a lot, but let's kind of dissect it and sure. elaborate a little bit on that because I think that's one of the main things, like the powerful benefits of our super reds. Yeah, there's a lot of big words in there. So we'll simplify <laughs> it for sure. Uh, I think oxidative stress. Well, what does that mean? So coronary artery disease is really the, well, let's back up a second. So heart disease is the number one killer of really all Americans. I mean, for most people, I think in the world, number one, number one heart uh, killer is heart disease, right? Mm -hmm. What does that mean though? It's typically heart attack and stroke. And what does that start with? Coronary artery disease. It's where the it's where the lining of the blood vessel starts to kind of lose its opening. It gets built up with these layers uh, this call them plaques. That's what they kind of they refer to and what they're talking about. The, the, but those plaques really start with some insult some somewhere. And they call it a silent killer because over years and years and years of this accumulation of plaque can lead to an occlusion or a block. And that's your heart attack, that's your stroke, it could be your cardiac arrest, which is very personal for me. My dad died of a cardiac arrest like two and a half, three years ago. So mm -hmm. totally get it. I totally understand how it affects families and how relatable this disease is. But where we're coming from is how preventable and how much more uh, we can do um, on a daily basis to you know, extend our lifespans and to ultimately, hopefully, slow down the progression of heart disease. Because um, you know, over time, that's what happens, right? Not only do we build up plaques, but we also stiffen. So our arteries get stiffer sure. and stiffer and stiffer. And that's like when we talk about collagen, we talk about elasticity, that same stuff is happening on the insides in our vasculature. Right. And our blood vessels, right? So right, and also what goes along with that that plaque buildup, and then the same amount of blood is trying to rush through, so the pressure pressure builds. goes up. So yeah. there we go, high blood pressure, right? Yeah, pressure builds. Yeah. Can... So going back to that study, though, that, that's really just saying they've recognized that an imbalance between free radicals, which are reactive oxygen species, and antioxidants, which are beneficial compounds that can neutralize these free radicals. When we have too many free radicals. Look, there's good and bad, right? We generate free radicals in response to exercise and yoga and some of the things that we do and, and heated environments and things like that. Sure. Um, but when we have too many free radicals at too high a level, you know, that typically can lead to oxidative stress. Right. And that's where the body is unable to keep up and unable to neutralize some of these, these insults. I'll call them insults. But, and ultimately, like that study referenced, it was an oxidized LDL particle. So LDL is your bad cholesterol. Mm -hmm. It was just a not, it's a not, and that's, the, that's a well-known contributor to the coronary artery disease is having these, the, well, high cholesterol, high LDL and uh, high triglycerides, which are the fat in the blood, but, and having some oxidized particles. And there's a lot of things from a lifestyle perspective that we can do. So today we're going to talk about the super reds. We're going to talk, and it is, it is like our pride and joy because it's such a great supplement in so many ways. We'll talk about three main areas of the, how they can impact your life today. Right. Perfect. 
Um, and, you know, we want to talk about who is this for, and we've said everybody with a heart, but it's really like, it is also for prevention, right? So we want to make sure like our, our cardiovascular system is functioning strong and properly for the our remainder of our life. So you need to be preventative. It's not just using it to possibly help rid maybe parts of cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease. It's really about prevention as well. Um, but also there's other benefits to this. So let's just, while we're talking about that, let's get right into it. So I know, I mean, performance, exercise performance, sexual health, those kind of both have to do with the same nitric oxide pathway. Sure. And we will talk okay, about so that. Let's there's like... three main areas. First of all, though, if you guys want to learn more a little bit about the heart disease and the coronary artery disease, we did do a Zoom on our yeah. YouTube channel where you can go and see our cardiovascular support Zoom. Super informative. Get really into the details. A lot more about things to, to know about and be aware of. But today, we're just going to kind of cover three main areas on the Super Res. We're going to talk about, of course, cardiovascular support. We're going to talk about fitness. And we're going to, we're going to talk about erectile dysfunction and sexual dysfunction that also impacts women as well. Yes, perfect. And before we go into a little bit more of the nitric oxide, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. That way, you don't miss any of these uh, amazing informational content uh, videos, trainings that we do. And leave us comments. Right? Yeah, we love we, the comments. We love guys. comments. We love to hear your takeaway. And also to order our products, you can always click on the link, especially click on the link in the description to order our Super Reds today. Okay, awesome. So cardiovascular support we just talked about. There's drugs on the market. We know nitroglycerin for chest pain. We know some of the uh, there's drugs that are used in 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 for high blood pressure that work on the dietary nitrate pathway because the dietary nitrates are really precursors to nitric oxide. We all kind of started, we've really, nitric oxide's kind of become this buzzword a lot, but nitric oxide is a signaling molecule. It's a really important molecule, and it only has a half-life of a few milliseconds, but it is a free radical. That is funny that we're talking about antioxidants and free radicals, but basically, the, it is a very important molecule that as we age, it declines, right? Just like we hear about NAD declines, glutathione declines, all these beneficial everything. molecules, everything. And it's like <laughs> aging is just like, well, they're stacked, they're stacked against us. So we do need to do our best to prolong um, the higher levels and supplement to get our nitric oxide levels up. Obviously, I'm not going to go into it, but cigarette smokers and vapors, there's definitely some damage being done to the endothelium. The endothelium is the inner lining of our blood vessels where a lot of this nitric oxide signaling occurs. So guys, if you're smoking, please let's stop that because we got to focus on... I love nicotine and in some ways as a nootropic and whatever, but anyway, I'm going to go off on a tangent about that. So... Uh, but the cardiovascular support aspect is huge because the nitrates convert into nitric oxide. And that nitric oxide will help open up and dilate our blood vessels. It will help increase perfusion and blood flow and delivering these important nutrients and antioxidants and phytochemicals to all aspects of our body. Right. So which the increasing blood flow also helps with like the erectile dysfunction, right? Mm -hmm. Certainly going to talk about that for sure. And, but, and also that helps with the exercise performance, all that of course. same benefits. Okay. Yeah. And let's just move through it, right? Let's just okay. go through it. Then we can talk about some of the actual specifics. Okay. But on the exercise front, you guys, the, like top performance, professional athletes, international Olympic committee, the world anti-doping agency. I mean, these are people that acknowledge nitrates as performance enhancing and you know, studies have shown demonstrated up to 5% of your output. 5% increase in output from dietary nitrates. This is a big number in the exercise world when we're talking about squeezing out marginal improvements and they'll go to a lot of extremes to do so. And it does it because, of, again, it's it's dilating, it's it's delivering more more more, more of these beneficial compounds to your tissues under uh, under duress. So when you're working, um, some a lot of interesting studies have come out about it. So it's very, very cool to see that as well. So that's one reason why when I tell you later, I use it as a pre-workout. Our partner, Ben, loves it as a pre-workout. Thinks yes. He calls it a secret weapon, but now everybody on the mountain bike trails are using it too. So <laughs> it may not be, it wasn't much of a secret <laughs> then. And, um, and then thirdly, of course, we'll talk about sexual dysfunction. And I don't want to just say erectile dysfunction just for men because blood flow is a thing for women as sure. well. That is a known thing. So uh, sexual dysfunction, uh, obviously many people know about Viagra, the blue pill, because it's for erectile, dys as it helped a lot of men with erectile dysfunction, Working exactly on the dietary nitrate pathway. So doing the same thing, increasing nitri nitric oxide, dilating the blood vessels, increasing blood flow, and therefore uh, working that pathway. So uh, originally the Viagra was this, this was being studied as an antihypertensive, so for blood pressure. So a lot of similarities, right? A lot of we're borrowing and we're, we're, we're exchanging 
Um, but we're really going after this from, Lisa, you'll talk about this, I'm sure, but from a whole foods perspective. Yes. That's why when we talk about, like, does it interact with drugs? Can children try it? Can whatever, whatever, whatever. It, a lot of it, like, if you look, if you notice, it's already started to settle and it will set, phase separate a little bit because these are the whole foods. It's ground, basically ground up whole food ingredients. And like Lisa mentioned, some of these ingredients are really, they're, they're not necessarily difficult to grow, but they're not commonplace in our in our supermarkets and right. grocery stores. So. Yes. And before we get into a few of those ingredients, um, let's talk about our, what we, I mean, organic. We are oh, yeah, 100% USDA certified organic. Yeah. And this is very important when it comes to our fruits and vegetables, because we Absolutely. talk about this a lot about, you know, the, the soil that they're grown in, as well as how they're treated, right? Herbicides, pesticides, fungicides. Like we don't want to be ingesting those because those are then going to cause free radicals. They do. Right? Yeah, it's over like time. You're doing, mm -hmm. you think you're doing something good, but you kind of are, you're hurting yourself. So, um, and especially when it comes, like, let's talk about, um, I'm just going to pick out our beetroot in here because it's very common. We hear a lot about, like, we need beets for the heart health. There's actually another company out there that just sells a supplement that's just the beetroot. Um, and it's actually, I believe it's the same amount of beetroot as in ours. And that's just one single ingredient and theirs isn't organic. But it is a root vegetable, guys. Anytime you have a root vegetable, it is in that soil. It is absorbing so much more of the any of the heavy metals in the soil and, and the pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, all that stuff in root vegetables. So 100% those root vegetables have got to be organic. Um, I mean, as goes for anything. So our whole entire um, product, so every ingredient in, in it is USDA organic. And I also want you to notice too that, I mean, we have our live good proprietary blend, but we tell you everything in it and the amount of everything. And I want you to recognize that maybe when you're comparing to others, like maybe I take this, you know, reds powder over here, I, I'm happy with it. Why would I change? Well, see if they break it down for you because most companies don't, right? And that allows them to possibly put in the least beneficial ingredient, the most amount of the least beneficial ingredient or the most amount of the cheapest ingredient you know, you have no idea what in the sprinkle, maybe a sprinkle of the beetroot that you like really want. So you want to know the amounts of everything that you're taking. So I want you to recognize that we have told you all of that information. Um, and while I'm at it, let's just say the price, $18 for members, 24 for non-members. I mean, regardless, it is an outstanding price, value. affordable for everybody. A lot of value. 30 servings, one scoop mixed in water every day, at least one scoop. These are a little... Um, it's like a frother. But yeah, it's a frother. Blender. And I put, I put it in <laughs> so the smoothie yeah. or, you know, part of our pre-workout. Exactly. Pre mixed with any of our other supplements. Um, okay, but let's talk about a few of the ingredients in cool. here, especially ones that some people may have never heard of. Okay, let's start with hawthorn berry, organic hawthorn berry. Love it. How did you source? Why? Tell yeah, no, it. it's great. Hawthorn, um, hawthorn, just, it, it, it's just incredibly high in phyto compounds and the phytonutrients. And like you said earlier about farming methods, we have lost our way. We have really selected crops for quantity and not quality. And years ago, that was kind of the mission, right? Like there was a, there was food insecurity. So I just kind of see how the unintended consequences are coming to light now. But like with Hawthorne, you know, you're getting very, very high phytonutrients. So nutrient density was what I was going for. They're high in dietary nitrates, right. high in antioxidants. Um, and then aronia berry. We have aronia yeah, berry, which is also known as a choke berry. I mean, people that are in the Midwest or kind of Northwest know about choke berry. Uh, family farm in Iowa is the only domestic um, okay. USDA certified organic, ethically and sustainably grown aronia berry, which is awesome. Right. Um, so it's funny. A lot of people that will write in and say, oh, as a kid, that's all I could ever know is, you know, choke berries. Right. Cool. It's just cool because I've, I've been told really now, like not many people have known about aronia. They don't. Sure. You know, so. Um, which is awesome. Pomegranate's in here. Pomegranate's super, super awesome. It also acts as a protector of nitric oxide. So mm -hmm. some, some of it, sometimes the antioxidants will do unique things. And in this case, pomegranate will uh, protect the, the nitric oxide from rapid degradation, even though it has only a half-life of milliseconds, like I said, but there's still some, sh some studies have demonstrated that uh, not only is pomegranate high in phytonutrients and and all those beneficial compounds but it can protect the nitric oxide as well right and i know we can find pomegranates in our local grocery store but i'll tell you the truth they're not easy they're yeah they're, they're really not easy and i really only bring them out <laughs> for special occasions like yeah. you know for hosting something or a holiday oh, i feel like sure. you know i bring out the the pomegranates and do the pomegranate yeah. seeds um and then another one grapeseed extract um I mean, I think a lot of us have heard about about that and, and know sure. the the potency and the the benefit of it. I mean, there's a ton of studies, and we can. That's the point of these calls isn't to go into every study, but when you look at PubMed or National Institute, like you will find so many studies on grapeseed extract. Mm -hmm. 
just the amount of beneficial compounds, and we're going to call them phytonutrients. Remember, it's the colorful plants and vegetables, those things that have these, what they're antioxidants is what they are. I mean, they're polyphenols. And they're just incredibly rich in nutrients and antioxidants. So again, another very good choice. Right. Have it in our- Yeah, awesome. Cereal. And there's a few other ingredients in there, but like I said, go to our website, check yeah. it out. Um, and also I just wanted to point out, it does say on the container contains wheat. I get this question a lot. I'm gluten-free, I can't have wheat. Um, it comes from the wheatgrass, okay, which is which is processed very differently than the wheat grain itself. So um, and the age, so it does it. It's a very young wheatgrass prior right. to its gluten development. So and right. it's tested, right? We test. We'll yes, talk about we're, that. we're tested for gluten free. It is. It is a gluten free product. Um, so yeah, we just have to put on there contains wheat because wheatgrass actually is in the wheat family. And then. Testing wise, you'll find the COA on the website. You'll mm -hmm. find the metals testing. You'll find the uh, we do we did a full pesticide analysis, mm -hmm. including glyphosate, uh, because we, we're we're definitely of the mindset that we need to be avoiding glyphosate. Um, very harmful to our gut microbiome. Very harmful to the soil. Uh, very harmful to the environment. So we really want to pay attention to some of these things that that'll find their way into our food supplies. Uh, food supply. So. Yeah. Awesome yeah. to know that that's all tested and, and clean and good yeah. to go. Great stuff. Overall, great product. Again, one simple scoop, put it in water, mix it up, use a spoon, put it in with a smoothie. I also sometimes like to mix it with our essential aminos. Um, I like to use it in the kind of early, you know, afternoon where I kind of just need like a, a, cap, a decaf uh, pick me up, you know, so no caffeine in it, but yet it kind of brings the energy to you. So um any questions? The grasses are, are so the, people also ask about the grasses. Well, the grasses are super high in dietary nitrates. So again, part of that whole thing is including them in here. It's kind of a base to the product too. So you'll see some overlap between the grasses and that's totally fine. That's intentional. Mm -hmm. We did that on purpose. Yep. Um, there they also has something about studies and whether or not th these are FDA approved. Dietary supplements do not go through an FDA approval process. That is not the way it works. That is for pharmaceutical drugs only. Keep in mind, this is a whole food ingredient. It follows the regulations similar to food. And that's how that's regulated in this country, in the United States of America. So.